Hi everyone, welcome to Lapis Compass. Thank you so much for being here. Today we are doing a reading for Aquarius. This is going to be for the second half of June. We're going to go ahead and um, pull several messages from different oracle and tarot decks and see what comes through for you. Keep in mind, Aquarius, not every message will resonate for every one of you, but your message can come through all the way in the end of the reading. Stick around, let's find out what's going on. Aquarius, what's happening? Oh, wow, that was quick. We have honesty coming out for you. Okay. That flipped out. Okay. What else is here for Aquarius, please? Aquarius. That's it. These two right here. We have success and grief. Interesting. Okay. Let's go ahead and start clarifying your cards and uh, get a bit more information on it, starting with that honesty card. Being honest with yourself is something that's coming through very strongly. Makes sense with that eight of eight of swords cards. Voices are swords in this deck interesting I feel like um, honesty is something that um, you normally use and do with other people but not everybody is as honest with you as you would expect them to but I'm also getting this energy of uh, needing to be honest with yourself you are honest to other people but somehow sometimes it feels like you're not very often with, or honest with yourself um, there's very positive cards here. You have sun, which is absolute happiness. You have that ten of materials, that ten of pentacles. This is joy. This is success. Feeling of inspiration in somebody who's very, um, very successful in their career here. It doesn't have to be gender specific. And nine of emotions is wish fulfillment. What I'm getting here from this card is from to the outsider, your life looks like a dream. <laughs> your life looks like you're living a dream here. And yet inside you have this eight of voices, this feeling of imprisonment, feeling of uh, almost anxiety, feeling of being stuck in something that is not necessarily fulfilling you here. I'm getting this energy of needing to be honest with yourself. Is this really what you want? Is this really is your true happiness? Because it feels to me like you are thinking about something else. You feel imprisoned. You feel stuck. Um, do you have a good career that brings you a lot of money? Yes, you do. I see that very strongly here. Does it look like a happy life to an outsider? Yes, it does. It looks like a wish fulfillment, fulfillment for most people. But is it your wish fulfillment? Is it what you truly desire? That's what you need to be honest with yourself about. That's what I see here. Or is your wish something else, something different, something that you're almost kind of afraid to make, like afraid to make that wish and blow the candles. That's what I'm getting here. Interesting message, very interesting message, Aquarius. I feel like it's time for you to be honest with yourself what truly brings you happiness, what truly is your wish fulfillment. I feel like that's what keeps you awake at night. That's what that feeling of stuck in almost kind of somebody's else dream. Wow, okay, all right, interesting start. Let's go ahead and uh, clarify the success card for you now. What is that about for Aquarius? What an interesting message. Two voices. Hmm. What is your success, Aquarius? What is your success? What do you consider a success in life? Is it material? Is it money? Is it good career? Or if you are truly honest with yourself, is it emotional fulfillment? That's the energy I'm getting here. I feel like both parties here are leading to abundance. No matter what you choose to do in your life, you will be successful. For a lot of you, this is success at work. For a lot of you, this is gaining a lot of material success, a lot of money success here. Uh, for a lot of you, it's some breakthroughs in um I'm getting almost kind of like scientific breakthroughs here. And of course, it's not for everybody. But I am getting the sum of you. You have... Uh, 
a very scientific mind and you are getting some sort of breakthroughs here that are going to bring you a lot of finances but what i'm seeing for some of you is that you're kind of on a crossroad and blindfolded as in what your success truly is and for some of you you come into that breakthrough and realization that your success your happiness lies within the family your fa your success is what you can what you truly consider success is to build a family and i feel like not everybody here uh, that i'm talking to has that yet in their life and this is something you are going towards too that's your what you consider your destiny that's the good fair outcome for you i'm getting an energy of a libra coming in into your life so you could be definitely connecting to a libra but i'm also getting you being an air sign connecting more to your fellow air sign Libra in a way that you're becoming more serene and more fair with yourself and more open in communication with yourself. I feel like you're allowing yourself to truly accept what you consider your own happiness. What an interesting message for you today. Huh. Okay, well, let's go ahead and move on. These messages were very much connected, but not all of them will be. So let's go ahead and see what is grief all about here. What is that all about for Aquarius? Grief, what is this? Page of Voices. Basic materials, five voices. Okay, so what I'm getting here, Aquarius, some of you, you could have been um, um, working on something that um, possibly a new project, something that you were working with with somebody here. I'm getting another air sign strongly here. It could have been uh, your uh, even friendship vibes with this person and you decided to work together on some sort of project. Uh, could have been a startup here. I feel like there could have been some arguments here um, between you, some differences and ideas. And I do feel if that's the case, you will be able to come to peaceful resolution. But what I'm getting is that um, there is a bit of an energy of regret here where um, it almost feels like there is something that you will have to let go and explore other options because it feels to me like... Um, uh, possibly the project that you were working on is just it's not taking off the ground as quickly as you want and um, you are kind of depleting your resources here i'm getting an energy of needing to branch out and explore other options it feels to me like uh, there is something that is like i said being lost for some of you it's investments that you put in into this project that uh, you cannot recoup and um, but it feels like um, that letting that go would be less of a loss than keep going with it because it feels like um, a bit of a draining energy from this project like it's draining the money it's putting you in this energy of um, a lack in finances you're holding on to almost your savings here and it's time to explore other options i understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it i do feel that uh, there is a lot of knowledge that's being gained from this project i feel like you have learned a lot of lessons not something that anybody wants to hear but i am getting this energy of gaining knowledge gaining some sort of uh, research that is very valuable for you for the future but also understanding that this this particular niche this particular project is not what's going to bring you that success it feels like um, uh, you got to count your losses here and move somewhere else and explore other options and i feel like that was also kind of uh, bringing this arguments possibly with your business partner here but i do feel that you will be able to overcome those uh, arguments here and come with a uh, come out with a peaceful resolution but it's time to let something go here that's the message let's go ahead and move this out of the way we're going to pull some keeper cards for you aquarius and see what else comes through what else you need to know what else is happening for you for the second half of june wow okay Judication came through. Interesting. When I was preparing for your reading, that's the card that also popped out for me. Okay. Stolen labor. I don't often use um, or read the oracle cards in reverse, but it feels like it needs to be that way.
What I'm getting here is that you could have been working for somebody. This could be a very influential family that you were working on. And it feels like uh, they were wor working you to the bone. It feels like you were putting a lot of hours into this job. You were working, uh, putting in a lot of uh, effort, a lot of um, energy into it. And maybe not even being compensated very fairly. Some of you could be definitely um, suing your employer this time. I am getting some legal matters being taken. I, I feel like you've been taken advantage of in some way work-wise uh, by some sort of either large corporation or somebody in a very privileged position, somebody in a position of power, a family with a lot of money. This could be a family-owned business that you used to work for. I am getting an idea of you going after what you deserve here through the legal channels. And I'm also getting like this uh, people that you were working with, they're very, they were very materialistic. It was all about the end goal. It was all about the end result. The, the bottom line here and I, what I see is that um, after you come through with uh, some sort of uh, resolution on this legal matters that you're taking uh, with this um, employer um, that's the energy here I feel like you're gonna move away from it I feel like you're gonna move away from this completely it's like you're breaking the chains here you're no longer working for them obviously you're no longer attached to the place where you are if you like it feels like you were almost attached to a physical place where you are and you were and now you're able to move you are able to go wherever you want some of you will go traveling I'm getting that too and I also feel that some of you will decide to establish your own either business or some do something completely different something where you're going to be the boss somewhere where you're going to be in charge of what you do a lot of you will start working for yourself that's what i'm getting interesting all right well let's go ahead and move this out of the way that was a specific message for somebody here uh, let's uh, move on and um, just pull from original tarot deck and see what else we haven't covered. What other messages need to come out? What else we need to know that we have not covered so far? Or confirmation. What else needs to come out here? Oh, look at that. That sun energy is coming through again. That's happiness. That's success. It almost kind of feels to me like for some of you, your success feels heavy. It weighs heavily on you. How interesting is that? Hmm. Might come with a price tag. Hmm. Wow. Very interesting energy. Um, I am feeling this energy here of you being very successful. Very successful when it comes to your finances, when it comes to your career here. I'm talking to somebody who's done really well for themselves, but also take. Uh, it was a hard road. It wasn't easy. It's, it's the money that you've been working on and uh, it took a lot of your time, but also it gives me this energy of you being quite successful and a lot of people around you might not necessarily have a very genuine intentions. It almost feels to me like for those of you who've been looking for love, there were a lot of people who were trying to get your attention, but maybe not always for the right reasons. You know, there could have been people that were literally attracted to your money more than they were attracted to you. I'm getting that. There could have been people here who've been attracted to your status more than they were attracted to you. That's what I'm getting here. And what I'm getting the energy is like, there, like I said, there were a lot of people fighting for your attention here, but you Aquarius were looking for something or you are looking for something that um, is lasting. You're looking for a genuine connection that will lead to a marriage here. I'm getting that, in, uh, that interest from you. And you're cautious. You're very cautious. You want to move towards somebody. I almost feel like there is this energy here of somebody is already in your... Um, Somebody already spiked your interest, but you were you are very cautious to move towards them. And they are quite cautious, cautious to move towards you. It could be um, a fire sign, specifically a Sagittarius standing out to me. Could be a Leo as well, but I'm getting more of an energy of Sagittarius here. Fire, very very much presence of a fire sign here. If that's your situation, if I just described your situation here, I do see a great potential of a long-lasting relationship for this person. For those of you who want to get married, I do see a marriage in your future. There is a change when it comes to your um, love life that is coming in. You have two fives here, that's two changes. And I do feel that, like I said, you do get a lot of attention. 
you're very attractive in many people's eyes but it feels to me like you're looking for something different here and you're trying to be patient and to to wait for the right person i feel like the right person is coming this is what i see for you it is a message for some of you Thank you so much for being here today. I truly hope this reading was helpful to you. If you enjoy this reading, please press that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and I hope to talk to you soon. Bye for now.